Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to do the video that I said that I was going to do in a previous video, which is mod shots of the bum bag and how it looks on me. Okay. So I already have it set to the shortest setting, which will be waist length. And I'm going to show you how it looks, which is the intended way to use the bum bag, which is around your waist. All right, I have to cook it back up a little bit. So this is how it looks on me. I am 5'10 for reference. A little bit on the heavy side. So I don't wear my bum bag up front. I just don't like how it looks. It looks weird, you know, with it just sitting here. So I usually just keep it off to the side like this, and it's perfect. I mean, if you want to throw it back, there you can. I don't know why you would because you're leaving your your items just to be stolen or you know how you gotta reach back there to get your items. So I just usually just keep my bum bag on the side as such. And I'm able to get in and out of my bag as well. Okay. So do keep in mind if you do decide to wear your bum bag on your waist, which is an intended use because it is a bum bag. When you wear it on your hip like this, because of how the bag is made, it's made to contour to your body. So if the bag is on your hip, it's going to push inward. So it's going to lessen the space that you have in your bum bag because of your hip. I mean, I don't know the physics behind it. I'm just a biology. I don't know. I'm just telling you, this is how it feels on my hip. Like my hip is protruding and the bag is going in. So it just lessens the space because it's contouring to the body. And because it is less than in the space, you won't be able to get as many items in your bum bag while it's on your hip. Um, I did put my my wallet and my coin purse in, but I probably won't be able to put too much more into that because it's contouring to my hip. All right, so now I'm going to take it off and I'm going to show you other ways that you can style and wear your bum bag and how it looks on me as well. All right, so I'm just going to take it off my hip. So I'm going to have to adjust the strap because like I said, this is waist just for around my waist. My waist is pretty, you know, it's pretty, pretty narrow. So it's on the smallest, but I'm going to show you on me that I would not be able to get this crossbody. <laughs> like this is it. <laughs> so we're going to take this off and we're going to adjust it and I'm going to show you how it looks. Lip gloss on. I can't find it. All right. And I will tell you, I'm going to set my bum bag down for a second. It took me a minute to figure out this strap. <laughs> I don't know why, but it took me a minute to figure out how to adjust it long enough for me. It's like a puzzle, and it shouldn't be that hard. And maybe I'm just not understanding. But I pretty much got it now. Let's pull this all the way so it gives it some slack and then you see how it has this extra here so I'm gonna have to loop this through this way like this this is just too confusing like I'm not gonna lie <laughs> the guitar strap is cute but this is this getting too confusing and I'm not even sure if this is still the longest setting probably not Let's try to readjust. So I'm going to pull this back out again. Pull that through. And then that should be it. So this should be the longest setting for me. Because I am 5'10". Now I'm going to attach this to my bum mag and I'm going to show you how it looks as well. Right? So. I'm attaching the strap back to the bum bag and now it's got more it has more slack in it and I'm gonna show you how it looks on my crossbody I am 5'10 and I am heavy chested so this is how it looks in the front on me so you can have it 
like up this way. It's not too bad. I may want to get in and out of my bag as well. I'll just put my wallet in. Just for right now because that's the closest thing that I had to me. And it fits. Okay. I'm going to show you how I normally like to carry it, which is under the boob on the side. So, it's not on my boob, it's kind of like under, but it's not too close. It is on my side and it hangs a little bit and I kind of just like to have it here when I have it on. Okay. And then I sometimes just rest my arm here as well. It's cute. Yeah. All right. So you can do it this way as well. Okay. And then for the option where you don't want to have it across your body, you don't want to have it on around your waist. You know, you can always just do it this way as well. This is a different option. I don't normally carry it like this. Like I said, I just usually just put a crossbody and I put it under under the top part here and I kind of just let it hang. And I'm able to do things, it's not in my way, I'm able to be hands free. And it does have the Louis Vuitton. Oops. So that's one thing about this strap, when you put it on, you gotta make sure that it's flat and that the LVs is showing. I mean, you bought the bag, you might as well show the lb so got louis vuitton and there it is all right guys thank you for hanging out with me and like i said this was the my shot so how it looks on me i am 510 i am tall heavy chested and it fits me just fine it's not in the way i don't feel uncomfortable but for me to be able to wear this crossbody i do have to put it on the longest setting for it to be comfortable on me all right, okay. Thank you guys for hanging out with me.